you don't just want to add geometry you want to go through and sculpt it in otherwise there's no sense adding the geometry you don't want to ever add geometry you don't need but in this case I need to increase its roundness so it's a good idea to have this geometry see I have the geometry here but it's a little bit out of kilter and it's a little bit flat so I'll use this to pull it out and just slowly increase the roundness of this model and also loosening it up like I said before you want to make sure your geometry is evenly spaced these two pieces of geometry are bigger than these two so I want to average it out get them more the same size it's not going to be 100 percent but it is helpful rather than having this flat edge I can pull this have a nice rounded edge now some people make the mistake of using a tool called the smooth tool I, I try to avoid the smooth tool as much as possible I try to manually go in and manipulate my geometry by hand and then add geometry by hand it's a little bit slower and a little bit tedious but in the end the results you get exactly the results you want and you can to control your edge flow and edge flow control is super important when it comes to modeling especially when modeling characters that need to be animated You can see that added. It's nice, nice bit of geometry here. So I'm going to go through and tweak my arm. Now, if you notice that things are getting pulled apart too far, you know you'll need an edge loop. For example, right here, I'll need an edge loop. And I'll go back to vertex mode and continue to sculpt. Always starting in a simple way and then slowly adding geometry and slowly sculpting it in taking your time see this nice edge flow from the shoulder in this direction I've got geometry under the arm so that the arm can fold in on itself it's very important to have the arm be able to fold in into itself you can also twist around the shoulder. So this is very good edge flow for the shoulder. Shoulders are super important because they have to move in so many different ways. So you, you want to really work on your edge flow on your shoulder. Okay, see how this is. Need to move this geometry up. It's a little bit tight. Starting to come along here. It's just going to loosen up between the legs. So it kind of is blending from several directions. And if I think my body's too high, that's okay. I can just go to vertex mode, go back to my standard movement tool, go to object or world space, and then pull this down. Hit B, soft select it, pull it down a little bit so I can have a longer body. Insert an edge loop right there. Scale it. You can see this is starting to come together. Double click. And on the vert and edge level, give this a nice sculpt. 